Hey guys, this is Torna. Today we have the kit for Scro Super Scroll. Um, I do want to apologize that I haven't been making very, very many videos. We've got a sick five-year-old and a sick one-year-old at the moment, so things have been hectic. But Super Scroll looks like he has been announced today, and this is my first time seeing him. Um, so you guys get like, you know, an unfiltered view uh, as I've started going on on my Discord. Torna Unchained. There is nothing here kind of stopping me saying my feelings or anything. So yeah, uh, well, let's get through it. So basically, you know, normal Dark Dimension 6 stuff, you know, like we've already heard about this stuff, Legendary Excluded, Legendary Excluded, Legendary Excluded, Non-Horsemen, Legendaries, and then Legendaries or Apocalypse. So this is going to be like Nova and whoever else you want to bring in. Assumingly, you know, we'll probably have a couple more new Scourge characters before then, uh, given how long it's going to take to get to gear 18, but we'll see. Um... The winner gets, you know, just the normal stuff it looks like. Like, you know, a seven red star, whoever they want. They're going to give out character shards. They're going to give out a uh, hundred character shards to everyone else and a five red star promotion. Um, list of eligible characters for the winner to choose from will be provided. I'll, I'll be very interested to see what that list is. All right. So Super Scroll, you get in basically the same way as normal. Dark Dimension 6 will grant 310 shards, so 5 star, and then 2 red stars. And then you'll get the arrest from the second completion to get the 7 red star and 4. So he's a villain cosmic bio brawler. Um, he's basic here. Holy cow. Look at this. Did I miss something here? No. Alright. Look at this basically. Look at how long this is. <laughs> So, on his basic, if the primary target has exposed, there's nothing in here as to what exposed is. So, I assume it's a new debuff or something. Clear all barrier on the primary target. Attack the target for 400% piercing and chain to three targets for 370% piercing. Flip three positives into, two, into negatives on each target. Gain defense up and safeguard. Safeguard on basic, that's bonkers. I wonder if that's going to work on the uh, ISO attack. If this character spawned with or has two more or two or more villain allies, that's interesting. Spawned with or has two or more. Why does it need to be spawned? I guess in case, you know, they get wiped out. This attack ignores defense up. So you want to like, it looks like a combination between villain and hero you want to bring with him. And then he applies disrupt if he's spawned with or has or two more hero allies. It can tar change to stealth targets, counterattack breaks it, and then it's got 200% extra focus and is unavoidable. So this is all the stuff for um, if he counterattacks and ISO assists and stuff. So he's going to clear that barrier still. He's still going to attack. He's going to flip. He's going to barrier himself. This didn't say barrier himself. Okay, that's weird. So his counterattack and assist does something different. Oh no, there, that's the barrier itself. He just doesn't gain the defense up and stuff. So it ignores defense up, etc. etc. So he's special here. That is a very low cooldown. He's gonna attack and apply this at new whatever exposed is. With this character spawned with has uh, if this character spawned with or has or two more hero allies, apply ability block for two turns, reduce uh, attack the primary and adjacents, and then reduce the speed bar. If he has Two or more villains, he's going to reduce the speed bar by 40, an additional 40%, 60% speed reduction. That's crazy. Clear stealth off all enemies, gain the following positive effects, plus two defense up, plus two offense up, deflect immunity and gain stealth, and then 500% extra focus, and it can't be dodged, blocked, or counterattacked. I love how they've got to make it so that every attack has so much extra focus because of the fact that they've power crept resistance so much. Bonkers crazy. Uh, he's ultimate. He's going to apply trauma to just the primary target. Interesting. Flip defense up and then attack all enemies. Apply heal block and offense down. If he has two or more villains, he's going to do additional damage. Ah, uh, here. If he's got two or more heroes, he's going to apply trauma for two turns. Do all enemies. So the trauma is relying on having two or more heroes. Barrier himself and all allies for 30% max health. And then it gains, you know, a freaking crazy amount of extra focus again. And then finally, he's passive here. The first time this character falls below 50%, clear all negative effects from this character, heal himself for 50% of this character's max health, and gain stealth. While this character has stealth, allies gain 20% damage reduction. That's really interesting. On stun, clear all stun and apply stun to the attacker. 
So similar to how the other Dark Dimension characters get rid of stun, the way he does it is put it back on the attacker. When an enemy gains a positive effect, or when this character has an ally gains a, or, or that, or if someone on your turn gains a, a negative effect, heal himself and fill his speed bar. Lower armor for all enemies by 25%. Gain max health and allies gain max health. Interesting, it's just allies. Gain 10% damage and focus per hero and uh, hero ally. Gain 10% armor and resistance per villain ally. Enemies with exposed cannot gain safeguard, deflect, or evade. This does not prevent prolonging the duration of effects already on the target. When enemy with exposed is attacked, this character attacks all enemies for 5%. So, they never actually said what exposed does, right? I'm not crazy. They never actually said what exposed does. Maybe they'll say it down below. Let's see, two infinity event campaign for uh, Cosmo. I totally expect this to be, you know, worse than every other event campaign before they got rid of them for a while. And then the Korg's event. So where's this exposed information? So does Exposed just do nothing? That's wonderful. Wonderful. They said nothing about what Exposed does. Um, but yeah, so I assume that Exposed is like just there to proc this stuff. But like, what does it flip into or anything like that? This is awful. Uh, this is wonderful. All right. That's it for today, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.